Alright, well did you know you can inherit from an inherited class? Well, you can. So we go back up here, and we'll make another class, and we'll call it my inherited inheritance. Alright, and in here, initialize again. Do not forget to initialize. Def initialize and def method Five. What do you mean for five? Which box is copy? Um, method five is running. Okay. Now, my inheritance is going to inherit from my inherited inheritance. <laughs> All right. So what that's going to do is down here when we when my class inherits from my inheritance which inherits from my inherited inheritance, it's going to do this. It's still going to have that same border as before, but it's also going to do the following. It's going to create another kind of miniature border inside of it, like so. Uh, actually, I'll change that to that. And, yep, comment that out, so it doesn't actually affect the class. So what has happened is, when you go into this class to find a method, so like if I went over here, my class dot method five, my class class dot method five, it's going to come into here into this class again, the same one that we're actually checking. It's going to come in here. It's going to look for it. And obviously there is no method five in here, so then it's going to go. Okay, it's not here. Oh, but I'm inheriting from a class, so let's check that class. And it's going to check this class here, because this is like, in the hierarchy of things, this is the most recent inherited class, so it's going to check here. And all of a sudden, oh wait, the method 5 isn't here either. But this class is also inherited from another class. So it's going to check there. And here we go, method 5. So if we run it, method 2, I see I spelled method 5 wrong, but okay. I should fix that. Method 5. Damn it. Okay, and we can do that as many times as we want. So, in my inheritor class, inheritance, inheritance here, I can inherit. Which I can also then make a def inheritance up here, and then actually make that inherit from another thing. And I can do this as many times as I want. So, I can have a hundred inherited, inherited classes if I wanted to, but really you don't want to be going over the limit of three. Try to keep in with three inheritances, because you have more than that, it kind of gets hard to follow after some time, because this here, even though I've told you that's what's happening, you don't see it. Derp. So now, now I've got rid of the border crap in there, if we were to run it, it should still work just fine. Two. Five, two. And that's some multiple inheritance for you.